three best today. We start with Emil. Um, 20 after 20, when was last time, Emil, you had uh, clean shooting on uh, 20 kilometers? Yeah, I've been, I've been asked the uh, same questions uh, before today, and uh, after some uh, after some thinking, I, I think it's uh, actually my first work of Week 3 in 2007, so... Uh, so it's uh, it's a long time since, uh, but um, it's it was quite similar race as, th as then, uh, difficult conditions and uh, um, and shoot zero. So uh, it was 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 a um, good race today. Why did it come just today? Because it seems like the conditions were quite difficult on the range. It was difficult, uh, and um, but I think I was quite lucky, uh, especially on my sta two standing shootings. I had. Uh, uh, not the toughest conditions. I I was able to uh, to uh, enjoy um, uh, quite calm winds and uh, and uh, this made it a lot easier for me. So um, so I think uh, I think that was uh, part of the reason for the the good result today. But uh, for sure you have to you have to have some skills to shoot twenty. So I'm happy with uh, with that. It looked like you slowed down a little bit before the last. Uh, shooting because Sergei took maybe 10 seconds out of you in a short time. Did you do that or were you just tired there? Yeah, I don't know exactly what happened, but um, my skiing was, uh, if it's uh, if you can say something that was was not so good today, it was my skiing. I, I think I have some um, some seconds to catch there before the sprint. I need to um, need to find some some better shape. I, I didn't feel quite good today, so I hope it. Um, Hope it can be better for the sprint. I think um, uh, I have to if I want to <laughs> stay on the podium. I can't. I can't continue like this in the uh, tracks. It was was not good enough. But um, shoot twenty as the only athlete today. I'm very happy. There has been some uh, articles in the Norwegian media that uh, you are thinking about the end of your career. It's maybe a stupid question in the first race of the season, but is uh, how many seasons more we're gonna see you? I don't know. I uh, I think one more uh, one season at a time, and uh, for sure on a day like this, uh, when you ask me, <laughs> I want to continue a long time because uh, you know winning makes you makes you motivated, and it's it's a good feeling. So um, uh, so uh, today it's uh, it's uh, easy to answer that uh, I can continue many years. Uh, if you ask me sometime during the the training season when you're <laughs> training uh, very very hard and uh, you feel extremely tired and. Uh, uh, stuff like that. It's maybe a different answer, but uh, but uh, battle is fun and uh, to to compete uh, is fun. So uh, I will continue as long as it's uh, it's like this. And how uh, are you planning this season? Is it the World Championship only, or is it are you going for the overall World Cup or what? My uh, plan A is is to uh, uh, go for the World Cup uh, victory. Uh, if I if I am still in the fight for this uh, after Christmas, I will continue. But um, if if not, I will uh, start to look towards the World Championships and, and focus my 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 shape on that. But uh, my plan A is um, is the is the overall World Cup. How important is it to win the first World Cup of the season? Uh, important. I I can do without also, but uh, it's a good feeling and it's a perfect start to the season. And uh, uh, for sure, I think it will be um, a tremendous season. So many strong athletes from different nations now and. Uh, and uh, I think we have uh, an exci exciting Python season uh, ahead of us. And then, uh, Sergei, uh, what about your race? One minute uh, was a good race. Thank you. Uh, what do you say? What uh, what was the best today? Was it skiing or shooting or what you most satisfied with? Uh, I must say that I was a bit disappointed uh, after the first loop because I shoot zero and uh, the gap between me and uh, Bill was 30 seconds, I was really disappointed and didn't know what to do because I had, a, as my feeling, I had a fast first loop, but 30 seconds to lose is too much from one loop. But I had zero and I started to think uh, just shoot good and everything will be okay. And that's how it was. <laughs> Did you ever start thinking about the podium during the race? Uh, no, uh, I never think about the podiums, <laughs> about the places during any race, not only today. I try to do my best to fight with uh, myself. Uh, so I did today. I, today were really hard conditions. Uh, the race was really hard and I couldn't wait 
until the finish <laughs> finish line and what, what were the what were the difficulties on the range was the wind coming and going or what was the problem uh, on, the, on the range today the wind was today for me it was lucky day i think so on on two shooting i didn't have uh wind nearly at all and at two shooting uh uh, I could uh, manage with him, so uh, I left uh, only one uh, miss on the standing shooting, but I think I could have not do this. <laughs> so it was a own mistake. One. Yeah, yeah. It was. What about your season? What is your next goal for the season? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Looking at, at the start of the season, I don't know what to dream about <laughs> further. Uh, my goal was to improve my results, to develop myself and my results. Uh, and I will try to do this further. Is this your best distance, the 20 kilometer? Uh, yeah, I like this distance because I'm not so quick, I'm not so rapid, you know. I, I don't jump at all all the uphills like the other guys do. I'm a bit slowly, but my speed is always the same from from the start and until the finish line. You have to do some training with Johannes Burr then. Yeah, I think <laughs> so. <laughs> Okay, thank you, Sergei. Uh, Michael, uh, you were in a, in a Czech uh, tandem today with Andre. Was it important for you to have a little help from him during the race uh, in the uh, course? Yeah, actually, I have to say that uh, it was not a big difference for me to have there Andre or anybody else because uh, today the conditions were really tough and all the downhills were very hard and there was just no chance to help anyone so there was no cooperation between us and uh, i'm really happy with with the result because i didn't feel good so uh, it's kind of motivating me for sure you didn't feel good what was not good before the race or during the race <laughs> yeah actually for me i had a little problems on the zeroing so the zeroing was more difficult for me also my feelings uh, like body feelings were not good so i didn't know what to expect from my run today and when i started the race i just couldn't get in good peace so i was starting a little bit slower but uh, luckily for me i uh, left some energy till the end because of that so i was stronger in the last loop which helped me to beat eric lesser for example yeah, you had a very strong last loop. You you felt that yourself, that you had some power left at the end of the race. Yeah, I felt it. It was just because I couldn't go faster at the beginning. So I left some energy till the end. What do you say about this man? 20 out of 20 today. <laughs> what can you say? It's not bad, right? <laughs> it's not. And that's how it should look like. Yeah. Uh, how far were you from a, from a zero on the range? Was it uh, like, Sergey, your own mistake or was it a little unlucky with the wind or what happened? Oh no, for me the wind was the biggest issue on the zeroing. Mm -hmm. uh, not in the race, I was, I would say, lucky in the race because I didn't have uh, other wind than on the zeroing, on the prones. So I didn't have to correct my uh, sights and uh, I didn't need to react for the wind. And the standing was quite calm because I was shooting on the last stands, which are covered a little bit with the building, with the new building. So I didn't deal with the with the wind on the race. There has been an explosion in in the interest of biathlon in in the Czech after the the World Championships in the Vysočina Arena. What are the goals for your team this winter? Uh, we didn't talk about the goals for our team. But, uh, of course, after last season, which was something uh, which we just couldn't imagine. And uh, it's something which is probably not possible to repeat. And uh, we will do our best to get as, as close as we could. So that's the deal. 
Okay. So, uh, are there any questions for the three best athletes today in the open questions? Otherwise, they... Here. Yep, here. Uh, I think maybe number seven or six or seven. Yep. I don't know the secret, but my hometown is pretty close, uh, just over the border. So it's like, yeah, you can say uh, it's uh, my second home. <laughs> if you didn't hear the question, it was if this is was the seventh victory for Emil here in Östersund. Have your parents arrived? No, they are arriving in. Uh, on Friday, I think. So they will be here for the weekend. More <laughs> questions? Okay, thank you very much, guys, and good luck in the weekend for all three of you. <laughs>